So here I'm going to show you how to find the correlation coefficient as well as the regression line for a series of points. So we'll start with correlation. We're going to click on these three dots in the upper right hand corner of the keyboard. We'll scroll down to statistics and then we'll select correlation coefficient. And from there we're going to enter our points. So we need to open parentheses for our first point and then enter it, 1 comma 2, close parentheses, comma, and enter the next point, 3 comma 4, the next point, so we'll close parentheses, comma, the next point, 4 comma 7, close parentheses, comma, the next point, 5 comma 4, close parentheses, and we can continue doing this until we have all of our points. 6 comma 8. We can hit enter, and now I have my correlation coefficient for those points. If I want to find my regression line, I can click the three dots, scroll down to statistics, and this time I'm going to select this fit line. And then once again, I can enter my points. So I'll open parentheses, 1 comma 2, close parentheses, comma, my next point, 3 comma 4, comma, my next point was 4 comma 7, comma, open parentheses, my next point was 5 comma 4, close parentheses, comma, and then my last point, 6 comma 8 close parentheses and hit enter, and I have the equation for the line, in this case 1.01x plus 1.15. And it does go ahead and graph it for me as well. If I don't want to show that line, I can click this gray dot, and it will take away the actual line from the graph. So there I had to type in that series of points twice. What if I don't want to do that? So let's do it with another example. This time I'm just going to type the list of points. And for that I'm going to need to start with curly braces. And that's going to be under this f of x function. And then on the right I can open my curly braces, go back to my numbers, and then I can enter in my points. This time I have 2, 8, 3, 5, 4, 5, and 5, 2. So we'll just do four points. Hit enter and now I have my list of points. So if I want to find the correlation for these points I can click my dots. I'll select my correlation coefficient was at the top now. And then this set of points is called L1. So I'm going to just use the letters L and then the number 1. Enter and I have my correlation coefficient. I can do the same thing with the line. Click on the dots and select the fit line. And then my list of points was L1. Enter. Now let's suppose I want to see this all on my graph. I can show the line as well as the points by selecting the little dot next to the points. And we can see a little bit of it here on the right. But if I click this little gear icon in the upper right hand, and then I can click the zoom to fit button. It'll actually zoom my graph so I can see the scatter plot as well as the line very nicely.